Okay, guys, I'm going to do something a little different for this channel. This is not so much about Loki, even though, actually, I think it, in a way it is. Um, what we're looking at is a little bit of the artwork that you can download on the More Color, More Pride site. And why that site is out is because everybody has lost their mind over Philadelphia's new flag to include people of color. That's that. And by the way, it's designed by an ad company. It wasn't like African-American people within the community themselves did not get together and make this flag. And the interesting thing is now everybody's a little confused because we're like, um, exactly who do we mean by people of color? And people are getting really confused because some people, and I have plenty of books by writer, you know, authors and authoresses of color, and some will say it includes everyone who is not continental Europe white. Some people will say, well, you have to take these two colors to represent black and Hispanic and Latino and Asian and everything else. And some people are like, no, 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 this is just for the African American community because they're experiencing the greatest amount of the problem. Well, I'm not a person of color from Philly and I don't go to gay bars, so I wouldn't know. And um, the discussion we should be having is if these people feel, you know, excluded by the old flag, then, you know, why not let them have a flag that shows pride and recognition? I frankly think it's one of the ugliest flags I've ever seen. I think we could have done a lot better. Um, my problem with it was that it's actually going towards skin color. You can't say it's, it's doing anything else. They put black and brown stripes in it. I'm like, well, if it was just for, you know, to include Africans, why couldn't we have the rainbow flag with an outline of Africa? Um, nobody actually, as usual, nobody asked anyone in the community about this. They went to an ad, ad campaign uh, place and they designed this flag. And I'm like, well, it's kind of, to me, I'm glad that we're having this discussion and racism and intolerance in the community should be discussed. But my problem with it is that it just it it just feels wrong to reduce people to the color of their skin and add that to the flag. That's my problem with the flag. I'm glad they have a bright flag now specifically for them. But at the same time, it's like that just feels tacky. I would not want a olive colored one for me as an Italian. I would not want, you know, it's like I, I really would feel uncomfortable with that putting my skin color on a flag. But for some people, they're like, they're, they're comfortable with it. And they're like, this is okay. We don't find this offensive. We actually find this embraces and celebrates us. And that's, you know, that's good. Um, what's brought this about, by the way, if you're not part of the gay community or you don't know about gay Philadelphia community, is that a lot of people have experienced racism. Um, everything from white um, bartenders or calling people the n-word repeatedly to being excluded from different um clubs to other things that they find um hardships with you know school training housing everything else um there's a tendency in the gay community and we all kind of turn a blind eye to it to kind of let white gay males run things and anyone who's been a member of the community long enough knows what I mean. Everyone's been excluded because they were whatever. Um, not every white gay male is bad, of course. They're not all going to exclude you or um, act like they have a right to judge the entire community because they're white males. But it is a problem we have to discuss. If this is going to be a white dominated culture, then yeah, we're going to need um, things that make people feel included. And a lot of people have said this came from a tipping point. People were so tired of being stepped on and marginalized and excluded. And as gay people, we know what it's like to be excluded. It's not like we don't all, as a whole entire community, face the same problems of having to be closeted, having to worry about whether you can keep a job or get housing or whatever. But for the minority members, it gets stepped up because just because someone is gay doesn't mean they're not also racist or intolerant of other gays or think they are the sole king or queen of gaydom 
and can decide who lives where and can decide who's gay enough and everything else. Uh, we've all run into those kind of people. They make the community look bad. So I actually, I support this flag. I still don't like the design. I'm still really uncomfortable with reducing people to the color of their skin. But if it makes people feel included in the African American and other minority, provided we're by minority, they mean the entire minority community of Philly, feels embraced and loved, then, you know, more power to them. I think we could have done better with the design. I think, in a way, it lacks a lot of grace and sensitivity. But, you know, it's a step in the right direction. Now, of course, just remember, just because we've made a flag, we don't make a flag and let people fly and then go home. Um, this still isn't actually doing anything to address racism or address the, pro the problems of minorities in the gay community. And that's a discussion we have to have. It's, um, it's all very well and good to make a flag and to have this site has already sold out of the swag. It's all well and good to do that, but you can't just do that and go, well, I've done my bit and go home. So we have to have this discussion as a community. We have to accept that racism does exist within the gay community and that people are facing even greater hardships than the um, other parts of the community because there is racism within our community and it does affect people and people are tired of being excluded from bars and being called racial slurs to their faces and uh, all the more serious things that they are going through. So it's a discussion we kind of need to have. It's been long overdue. Uh, there's kind of a um, tendency in the community to sugarcoat everything and pretend everything's pretty when we know there are actually a lot of horrible people in our community. But they're here because where else are they going to go, right? I mean, nobody else wants them because they're gay. But yeah, um... I'm, I'm a supporter of the flag. I, I think we could have done a lot better to me. It kind of like, I don't know. I just don't feel comfortable with it. It has nothing to do with not being black. It has something to do with um, no one else up until this point has been included as a skin color. None of the original colors have to do with skin color. So um, to me, it wasn't the most elegant way of going about it. But if that is what the African-American community and other minorities feel is um, accepting and loving into them as a community, it feels good, then, you know, more power to them. Um, anyone has a right to take the flag and make it any kind of colors they want. Um, if you wanted to completely change colors, we could. There has historically been a black stripe. There were also pink and turquoise in the original uh, flag. So <laughs> the flag's gone over when a lot of changes through the years you can take it and design your own flag put whatever colors you want in it i really don't care you're not going to hurt me as a person um and this flag shouldn't threaten anyone it's going to raise a lot of awareness going to raise a lot of controversy which it already has but it seems to mainly be upsetting white males both heterosexual and gay that are like no we can't have black on anything it's offensive and i'm like really seriously just be glad the italians haven't spoken up yet and said hey where's our color <laughs> you know um but yeah it, it does bring up that point too um are we going to have other flags for other minorities and um why not you know why not have a flag that shows your pride as long as your pride is not you know, putting anyone down. And I don't see this flag putting anyone down. Um, we're going to have some interesting discussions in the years to come of whether this is just a Philly thing. Is this only meant to be flown by minorities? Is it meant to be flown by everyone? It, it's going to be an interesting time to live in. And at least it's the right s step in the right direction. But just remember, just because we designed a flag, we don't all get to go home now and turn a blind eye to racism because that's not cool. Okay, guys, if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. But yeah, I wanted to get my two cents off there because um, it's kind of terrible how people in the community are making this into a thing that, well, shows entirely how racist a lot of people in the community are. So if you like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.